As we age, not only can our physical health deteriorate, but our mental health can as well. And that can lead to things such as memory loss and Alzheimer's disease. This morning on Ask a Specialist, we'll talk about what you need to know with Dr. Abraham Chung, a neurologist at the Queen's Medical Center. Hi, good morning, Dr. Abraham Chung. Thank you for joining us this morning. This is really important topic that we can discuss. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Just to start us off first, what can cause memory loss? It turns out that there's a lot of different things that can cause memory loss. I think as a, a natural reaction, people tend to think about conditions like dementia, such as Alzheimer's disease. Uh, but uh, very commonly, uh, just about everyone experiences some degree of memory problems with normal aging. Mm -hmm. And then there are other conditions that are temporary or transient, such as medicine side effect that may wear off over time, or something that's easily treatable like a vitamin deficiency and with the appropriate supplementation, uh, the condition may improve. And then there are other conditions that may be persisting, but it doesn't necessarily get worse for example, as a consequence of head trauma from a car accident, or if there's brain injury from conditions like stroke, people may experience persisting memory problems that don't go away. But yes, there is the category of progressively worsening memory problem that we refer to as dementia, mm -hmm. and Alzheimer's disease is the most common type. Good to know. Now, leading off of that, what is the difference between then dementia and Alzheimer's disease? Yes, dementia describes the patient's condition, their symptom. It specifically says that they have progressively worsening memory decline that is bad enough to cause functional impairment. Mm. Similarly, when there's really bad memory impairment, we diagnose the patient with dementia. And with further evaluation, we might be able to clarify whether the underlying problem is Alzheimer's disease or vascular dementia or Lewy body dementia, frontotemporal dementia, and other types of dementias. Now, lastly, why should someone seek a medical evaluation for a diagnosis of dementia then, Dr. Abraham? Yes, um, it is kind of scary, the concept of being diagnosed with dementia. And understandably, people may decide to put off getting medical evaluation for that concern. Mm -hmm. But as we touched upon earlier, the memory problem may be caused by something other than dementia. And particularly if it's something that's treatable, if people can not get better. Another advantage of seeking medical evaluation is that if the diagnosis does turn out to be dementia, and dementia is caused by Alzheimer's disease, there is now FDA-approved treatment. Okay. However, the treatment is only available for people with early stage of Alzheimer's disease. So if they wait too long and present to the doctor in the more advanced stage, they may no longer be eligible. Another benefit of seeking a diagnosis early is even if it does turn out to be dementia and there is no dedicated treatment available, finding out about that condition early gives the patient an opportunity to proactively plan what is going to happen to them mm -hmm. if the condition gets worse. To learn more about the services provided by Queen's Neuroscience Institute, you can visit queens.org, click on services, then click on neuroscience, or you can call 808-691-8866. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dr. Chung, for talking to us this morning and then giving us all of these tips and a very deep dive and insight into Alzheimer's dementia and memory loss. So aloha. Thank you for joining us again this morning. Thank you for having me.